If you're looking for a development board to build AI projects straight out of the box, then this might be for you. This development board has an onboard microphone, a camera and even a TFT display. This is the Cypede Max Duino development kit from C Technology. Also, if you want to get this development board for free, you can participate in our online design contest IoT and Edge AI project challenge. All you have to do is submit an interesting project idea, get your development board and build something interesting. For the best projects, we are also giving up to 7 lakh in cash price and all of this is possible thanks to our contest sponsor DigiKey. DigiKey is a global leader in cutting-edge commerce distribution of electronic components and automation products worldwide. They provide more than 15.3 million components from over 2900 manufacturers with products in stock available for immediate shipment. Also, with their fast shipping and excellent customer support, you can always trust that your products will arrive on time and in top condition. So do remember to check out DigiKey for your next project. So this is our Maxidino SIP development kit and inside the development kit you will get this. A camera, a touchscreen TFT display and the actual development board. Now on the development board you can see that you have to connect the camera over here and the LCD over here. Let's do that first. So on the camera you will find that pin number 1 starts from here and it goes all the way up to pin number 24 and on the board you can see the marking for pin number one over here so we have to make sure that pin number one is connected over there so it goes like this okay and then for the lcd similarly you can notice that pin number one starts from here and over here our pin number one is mentioned right here if you can see so it goes like this Okay, now we have connected the LCD display and the microphone to our development board. Now let's take a closer look at the specifications and all the other components present on this board. Okay, so let's start from here. The camera that we get along with our development board is the GC0328 and the display module that we get is the ST7789. So these two part numbers are important when you're actually programming the development board. That being said, let's take a closer look at the components present on our development board. So we have two microcontrollers here. One is the ESP32 module for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth functionality. And the other is the SIPD M1 module which takes care of all the AI functionalities. Apart from that, we have the connector for 24 megapixel camera, a memory card slot over here which can be used to store images and audio files when needed. And then you have this Arduino like connectors which can be used to connect all your Arduino shields. So if you have already worked with Arduino, this development board will make hardware connections very easy for you. And then we have two push buttons over here. One is the reset push button. As you can see, it's already labeled. One is the reset push button and the other is the boot push button. Apart from that, we also have a MEMS microphone over here and then we have the CH552 two-channel USB to UART helping us to program and use serial monitor and then this DC jack just like you find on Arduino boards and a Type-C connector for programming our board and then you also have a speaker connector when you're working on audio projects if you want to connect a speaker to your board you can easily connect it using this one point 5 mm pitch speaker connector okay now let me show you how we can easily program this development board i have connected the lcd display and the camera module and i'm going to connect it to my laptop using a type c programming cable so i'm just going to connect it here as soon as i connect you can see that the board turns on now on my computer over here i already have the Arduino ide opened but before we start working with that let's get into google and search for max duino development board you will find the first link which opens to this documentation so this documentation shows you everything about the board again and if you scroll all the way to the bottom you can see that there are two programming environments which we can use to program our Max Duino board. One is the MaxiPy. If you know MicroPython you might want to check that out but I'm going to show you how to use the Arduino tutorial because that is more popular. So if you open this you can again click on Arduino IDE and here you can find the complete instructions. Let me quickly tell you what it is. All you have to do is open your Arduino IDE and then go to settings and you have to copy this link from here and paste it here which i have already done and then click on ok and then go to tools boards board manager 
and you have to install the max duino package so this will install maix this will install the max duino package on your computer i have already installed it and then there are a few more things which you have to set like the board firmware port and programmer just like you would do for any other board so the board should be max duino and the cyped max duino board and then Make sure your programmer is set to kflash which is a dedicated programmer for this development board and then for the port uh, make sure you have selected the right pro port which points to your device in my case it's 000 and that's it that's uh, pretty much all now you should be able to go to file examples and if you see here you can find a lot of example codes for the Cyped Max Duino board. Let me quickly open one example program for the display. Uh, if you remember from our tutorial this uh, display here is the ST7789. So we're going to open that example code ST7789 basic display and we're going to upload it. Okay, so now the code is uploaded and as you can see on the display over here, it is displaying some uh, circle, square, triangle and everything which is a uh, very basic functionality of the display and even our code is uh, doing the same. You can see that we are showing how to rotate the display, how to do a circle, how to do a triangle. So this is pretty much a basic code. Now one uh, downfall according to me is these example codes are not that fun in fact I would say a lot of example codes they have given uh, doesn't even show the full functionality of this board so to explore more and to see what this board is capable of in fact there is no camera example given here you can't even see how the camera works with the examples given here that's because the, the example code is for OV2640 but the camera we have received here is the GC0328 so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Google and if you scroll all the way down, you'll find a GitHub repo by Cyped Max Duino. That's what we are interested in. And then you go to libraries and here you can see that there are a lot of uh, more example codes given by Max Duino for this particular development board. You can see for the Cyped GC0328, they have given a separate uh, example code here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add these codes to our package over here. How we can do that is we have to open a file manager. So this is my file manager and then we'll go to users, Sushwant and under hidden files you'll find library. So basically we are locating to the package which got installed. Under packages we have Max Duino, hardware, K210, 0 0.3.11 and then here under libraries you can see that all the example code folders are here. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy we're going to copy this uh, GC0328. Uh, you can actually download the entire repo and add it there if you want to try other example codes as well. So I have already copied it from there and pasted it here. So now what we can do is we can go into the example code and open it from here. So now what we can do is we can go back here and we can try out this example code. I'm going to just copy this code from here from the GitHub repo and since our package is already installed, I will just directly change this example code and hit on upload. So what this code basically does is that it initializes the camera and displays the camera image on our LCD frame by frame. So now let's see how good this camera is working. So as you can see the display is already recording what the camera is uh, pointing. Uh, let me face the camera to me and show the display to you so that you can see. Yep. Here is the camera so you should be able to see me on the camera and as you can see the frame rate is really good even if I shake my head and everything you can see that the frame rate is really good and the camera clarity is also more than decent I would say. So this is just an example to show you how the camera works but what you can do is you can try more example codes that is object detection code, face detection, face recognition. So you can try out all of that because you see the program is really short you can work on it frame by frame you can control devices based based on what's detected on the frame. So all that is very easily possible. Just to make things more interesting, I will also show you the functionality of the onboard microphone. So to do that, I have another example code which I downloaded earlier called the 
max speech recognizer uh, you should be able to find uh, this on another github profile or i'll even link it in my article okay so this is the sample code i was uh, talking about so this code can basically uh, let you train for a specific catchphrase for the example here they have trained it for uh, hey jarvis and hey friday but you can train it for anything i have already downloaded this uh, to code files. It was originally written for platform.io, but it also works on Arduino ID. It's the same. So uh, I have downloaded these two files. One is the voicemodel.h and the other is the actual uh, Arduino code. So I'm going to open that. So this is the actual uh, voice recognition demo code. So there is an option for you to record the code instead of zero. If you set it as one, you can train for your own data and it is already trained using the trained data can be found over here. So the voice model dot H shows the trained data using which it can recognize. First, let me show you the demo with the pre-existing data. So I'm going to upload this. Okay, so now you can see that our uh, code demo code is working here and it can recognize the two catchphrases. Uh, I'm going to show what it is. Hey Jarvis. So now Jarvis is detected. Hey Friday. Now Friday is detected. So yeah, so this is a sample code which shows you how to train for a specific uh, catchphrase and when you say that catchphrase, it will get uh, triggered and you can do whatever you want to do like control something or ask for further inquiries. You can also easily connect a speaker and respond with a voice. So all that is easily possible with this development board. Now if you want to use this code and train it for some other catchphrase, say for example, you want to say light on, light off, blue on, red off, something like that, you can very easily do it by just changing changing it to one and upload the same code and then open the serial monitor blue on so now this is the trained data for the catchphrase blue on you can just copy it and if you remember this voice model dot h you can see uh, it is the same code you can copy it from the serial monitor and paste it here so they have already trained it for hey friday and Hey Friday, there are true training data and you should also find it for Hey Jarvis. So you have to do it three times and add three training data for each catchphrase. So here it is shown for Hey Jarvis and Hey Friday, but you can tweak this code and train it for any other catchphrase as well. So yeah, that's it guys. This is how you can use this development board. I'm really excited for what all projects we can build with it, especially because of its onboard microphone, display and a camera. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I gave you enough uh, motivation to try out some projects with this board. That's it. This is Ashwant signing off. Have a good day. Bye-bye.